Morning everybody, getting ready for headline or hearsay. Don't forget you can play along. Emily's done her makeup, we're all good. That's that's, 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 that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Rihanna at Isle of Wight Radio and Diamonds. Morning, welcome along to the show. So we are getting ourselves ready for today's headline or hearsay. Uh, just remind us of the score yesterday, Jamie. Um, it was quite a close one, from what I can remember. I think uh, it was three nil, wasn't it? I think was you just edged me sweet? out three nil. Mm, I think yeah. it was. Just, just like, well, with the help of our friends on Facebook, of course. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. So today, uh, it's sort of all to play for. I was up until at least seven, seven thirty last night doing these. So. Wow. Gosh, that is the dedication that you night. put in, Jamie. Okay, let's do it. Let's play headline or hearsay. Remember, uh, with Classic Cottages, uh, you can join us on Facebook Live, facebook.com forward slash Isle of Wight Radio and help us along. Morning to Debbie, who has joined us this morning on Facebook. Uh, do it right now. Let's do it. Uh, headline or hearsay. A shopper received a random act of kindness after she was handed an envelope with a lottery ticket inside. Ellen Harris was doing her weekly shop in Newport, South Wales with her mum when she was handed it. On the front it said open me, which she did, and it had the ticket inside. Confused, Ellen went to the till where it was scanned and revealed it was a winner to the sum of £10. Headline or hearsay? Oh, I'd like to think that that's, yeah. a, that's a real thing. Isn't it like... Or wasn't it National Kindness? I, don't know, I think we missed it, but I think it was National Kindness well, Day do you yesterday. Know what? It's <laughs> funny, it? funny you should mention this. Charlotte uh, put it up on our Facebook page yesterday, National Kindness Day, and uh, well, we had some interesting comments. <laughs> um, it's well, I'm not going to read them out. Oh, really? It's well, worth having a look. But let's just say some people's definition of kindness is different to mine. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, very funny. Thank you to everyone. Uh, that commented, right, so is that headline or hearsay? I would like to think that that's a headline. That is a nice thing to do. Uh, let's go through some of the people that are getting in touch this morning. Uh, David says headline, Keith says headline, Christine says headline, Elizabeth says headline, Debbie says headline, Julie says headline, Tom says headline. So, are we going to go... I think it's a hit. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, let's go with Facebook. I think it's a headline. It's a oh, headline, it Jamie. A headline. It's a lovely story, but it's uh, completely made up. Oh, oh, no. oh, you see, that's the way to play the game. Oh, you have it's... upped your game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. these late nights. Shh. Told you. Good start. <sighs> Got to say hello to Sarah Smith um, and also to Maddie and Aidan this morning, uh, who've messaged us on Facebook. Oh. I can't, can't believe that. Oh, Julie King says, "I don't think you can win ten pounds." Oh, Julie! That's, <laughs> you were too, I mean, it, too oh, late. Come on. Let's do another one. What caps off the perfect meal? Well, cheese and biscuits, of course. But the dining connoisseur doesn't need to settle for dull old yellow fromage anymore. A supermarket's launched a cheese to make the girls and boys wink. A Wensleydale that's not only flavoured with Prosecco, but it's bright pink because it's mixed with raspberries. Headline or hearsay? Oh. Mm, Prosecco cheese. It's like a cheese and wine party in every bite. It is. <laughs> oh, there is a bit of a fad, isn't there, to make everything Prosecco flavoured, though, isn't there? there when there are Prosecco crisps last year. Oh, probably. They weren't very nice. No, that's it. Just I mean, stick with salt and vinegar. Prosecco truffles. Remember those last Christmas? Again, I'd rather just eat a normal truffle. And have a glass of Prosecco. Yeah. If that's, if that's your thing, drink it. Yeah. Um, it's like... It's like Marmite flavoured things. Mm. Yeah, I like Marmite. Wow. But, oh, let's not start that debate. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, Erica says, uh, hello from Australia. Wow. She loves the show. Morning. Yeah, let me, I can speak Australian. Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? You all right? It's truth. See? Excellent. Yeah, that's okay. Wow, bilingual. Uh, exactly. Uh, Jean thinks it's hearsay. Pink cheese, exclamation mark. Julie thinks uh, it is uh, a headline. Uh, Sarah thinks headline. Haley says, I love Prosecco. Ha I know Haley. would. would <laughs> Haley's not playing along. She's just expressing her love. Yes, but I know that Haley would think nothing more of having a nice bite of Prosecco cheese. Mm. Yes. Uh, Erica says, spot on. Your accent, I think. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Spot on. Spot on, mate. Spot on, mate. Truth. 
See, she hasn't been able to understand anything else other than uh, when, when, I, when I spoke like that. <laughs> Even though if you are Australian, they're flip-flops, not thongs. You don't wear thongs on your feet. I didn't know they were called that in Australia. Yeah, if you go to yeah. Australia and you want to buy flip-flops... Don't well, pair a thong. Thanks for yeah. warning me. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, don't go in. <laughs> don't go into a shoe shop. No. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Headline or hearsay? Headline. Headline. We think it's a headline. It is a headline. Yeah. Oh. Right. One all. Oh, yes. Merseyside police officers generally have their work cut out on a Friday night, but officers were kept busy for rather an unusual reason recently. Two geese were spotted on the slow lane of the M57. The pair didn't seem to be phased by the officers and actually happily jumped in the back of the police van to be moved to safety. Officers said they came quietly and were safely reunited with parents at a nearby lake. Is that headline or is it hearsay? It easily could be a headline. Do you remember the swan on Newport High Street? Yes, with the police officer with the police and the riot shield. Riot shield. <laughs> Love it. We're taking no chances here. We're going to get. I wouldn't mess with a swan. I mean, if, what you didn't see in that photograph of the policeman with the riot shield is behind him. There was a water cannon. <laughs> uh, seriously, and and some mounted police as well. Uh, so David thinks it's hearsay. Um, Elizabeth thinks it's headline. Emma says uh, hearsay. Julie says hearsay. And, uh, well, Keith thinks it's headline. Debbie thinks it's headline. Are we going headline or hearsay? David oh, David Carrington thinks it's headline. Julie Hollister says hearsay this morning. Uh, Jean thinks it's hearsay. Jean Newnham. Susan uh, Fielder thinks it's hearsay. It sounds like it might be too believable to be a headline, if Sarah, you know what I mean. Sarah Smith, headline. Hayley Moore, headline. Uh, Christine Harris, headline. Michelle Greenslade says hearsay. I'm going to leave this over to you. You are our official wildlife person. Mm, hearsay? I might well say hearsay because somebody, I can't remember who it was, but it's the M53 or the M56, says David Harris. What did you say it was? It's the M57. Is there like not an M57? I don't know. I don't, I don't I don't know road numbers. Closest you get to a motorway is the dual carriageway. <laughs> yeah. What the A? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I yeah. I let's go hearsay. We're going hearsay, Jamie. His little face oh! drops. <laughs> It is a hearsay. Yes. There is an M57. Is there? I did check. Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That was a close run thing, though. They were good today. Uh, we'll be back on Facebook, same time, same place tomorrow. And Headline or Hearsay returns with Classic Cottages uh, tomorrow, 7.40. It's quarter to eight now. Oh, Thank that, you, Facebook. that Thank you, Facebook. was good. So close yet yeah. so far. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Oh, maybe tomorrow, Jamie. This wasn't three 0 today. Two one. Actually, while we're on there, I'm just going to try some of these uh, filters out. Oh, here we go. Because uh, there's a good, there's a good one. There's a good one. How about this one? This apparently is supposed to be very good. Just light this up. Won't take a minute. Hopefully. Two 0 This has been a bad start to the week. I'm not going to lie. Maybe it's crashed the iPad. Oh no, no. Hold on, hold on. Hopefully, is this going to work? Oh, it's not working. That's rubbish. Okay, we'll go then. All right then. Thanks very much. Hang on. Oh. Yeah, it didn't oh. work. Didn't work. Bye everyone.